zipo Hakuna wa mfano wako Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Na kuimidi bwana Na kuinua yawe Shatara kayabo Shatara kayabo siere bebe bebe Sante bwana Roho yangu na ikuimbie Jinsi wewe ulivyo mku Roho yangu na
give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Sing out, you're wonderful. You are wonderful. You are worthy. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh Lord, out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly. Out of softly, my belly shall flow. River, rivers of living water. Out of my belly, out of my belly, keyboard bandisha. Flow rivers. Rivers of living waters, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift up your hands. Heavenly Father, we honor you this wonderful afternoon. Thank you for such an impactful week. Grace has been building up every single day. And Father, our lives are never the same. To know but Ibadazaleo, we thank you for the powerful moment in the morning. Even as we continue having a greater time in your presence, may heavens continue being open. Speak to us in this service, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. high five. God is still speaking. Come on, come on, reach out to someone. Tell them the Lord is still speaking. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> That's why I praise him in the morning. That's why I praise him. In the noon time, that's why I praise you. In the evening, that's why I praise you. Oh, that's why I praise you, Lord. In the morning, come on, clap your hands. Oh, in the evening, that's why I praise you. Sing you up so faithful. Oh, you are oh, so faithful. So, faithful. oh, you are so loving. So loving. Oh, God, you are so loving. So loving, sing. That's why I praise you, Lord. Oh, that's why I praise you in the noon time. Oh, in the evening, that's why I praise you. Oh, that's why I praise you, Lord. In the morning, oh, in the noon time. Oh, in the evening, that's why I praise you. Oh, that's why I lift you, Lord. That's why I lift you in the noon time. Oh, 
mwamba 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 Yesu ni ye mwamba Oh mwamba 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 Oh mwamba 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 Yesu ni ye mwamba ima Mwamba mwamba Oh na wamama wote watasimama singi wao kiwa kwenye mwamba eh Mwamba mwamba Oh mwamba 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 Yesu ni ye mwamba oh Shukuru ni Bwana wa kuwa ni mwe kwa maana fadhili zake ni za milele imba ni Bwana wa kuwa ni mwe kwa maana fadhili zake ni za God bless you. Take your seats. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Piga shangwe na makofi na vigelegele na nderemo. Haleluya. Papa tuko naye hapa na mama tuwatambue tena kwa makofi tukuheshimu. Ah, uh, wazazi wetu hawa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wangapi unasema tangu uje conference hii maisha yako yanabadilika. Yanazidi kubadilika. Sema amen. Ambia mwenzako, hii this is your day. Leo ni siku nyingine hii. Something must happen. Sema amen. I know we'll have powerful time later in the afternoon. Yangu ni kukwambia tayarisha moyo wako. I tell people this many times. You cannot draw virtue where you have not placed value. Uwezi ukafaidika mahali ambapo hujaweka value ndani yake. Hivyo tayarisha moyo wako begin as early as now to begin interceding for your family and believing God for a turn around ili tukikutana hapa uh, masaya yale mengine e, inakuwa rahisi mkutushughulikia sema amen ninahisi kwamba kwenye ibada hii kwa maana lunch hour ya mwisho ya conference uh, i feel we need to talk about serving god hebu sema kingdom service sikusiki sema kingdom service sema amen kwa sababu haujakuja hapa upokee vitu vya nguvu kiasi hiyo uende kuwa mtalii kanisani sema amen haujakuja hapo pokee hekima na ufunuo jinsi hii tumepokea na uende kuwa shabiki kanisani sema amen tena teli wa neighbor 
anointing is not lotion. Mwambie hivyo. Mwambie tena, mwambie anointing si nini? Mwambie anointing ni ya kazi, ni ya kazi. Hey. Wajua, wajua katika familia ya wanyama fulani baba skofu kuna punda. Punda anajulikana kama beast of burden sana. Anabeba miziko. Alafu kwa hiyo familia tu kuna farasi. Farasi ambaye anajulikana kwa vita na kukimbia. Lakini hiyo familia kuna mwingine bure kabisa. Naitwa zebra. <laughs> Ndio rembo kabisa. Kazi yake ni kupigwa picha na watalii. Ambia mwanzako ibada hii utaondoa uzebra utoke maishani mwako. Eh. Hey. Is <laughs> <laughs> Sema nakataa uzebra nakataa. Eh. Hey. Haleluya. <laughs> Fungua nami kwenye kitabu cha Luka 12 na mstari wa 42. I am one um, I know the heart of Papa ni kwamba kila tamati ya kongamano hili huwa anataka kuwe na very powerful commissioning ili tunapomalizia conference your life should not be the same tukaone tofauti kubwa katika maisha yako ya kila siku kama mteule so look chapter 12 i'll read from verse number 42 then we go to exodus 23:25 tusome pale kitabu cha luka 12 na mstari wa 42 nitasoma kwa kizungu Uh, kama biblia yako ni kama yangu utaona kwamba maneno haya yameandikwa from verse 42 they are written in red red maana yake ni Yesu anazungumza hapa si Luka <laughs> na mahali ambapo Yesu anazungumza ye mwenyewe directly it means nothing can be more wiser nothing can be more truer more impactful than words coming expressly from the lips of Jesus. So, let's read. Inasema, and the Lord and the Lord. It is Jesus talking. And the Lord said, who then is that faithful wise steward whom his master will make ruler over his household. Angalia, moyo wa master moyo wa mchungaji moyo wa Bwana wakati wote akikaa na watumishi moyo wake ni wa kuwainua always that faithful why steward that the master will make ruler over his household to give them their portion of food in due season punguza keyboard kidogo verse 43 blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing When he comes 44 Truly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has 45 But if that servant says in his heart my master is delaying and begins to beat the male and female servants and to drink and uh, to eat and drink and be drunk for if the master of that servant will come on a day that he is not looking for him at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers 47 and that mass and that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself uh, or do according to his will the bible says he shall be beaten with many stripes let's read verse 48 loudly together one to go but he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten with few continue for everyone to whom much is given from him much will be required and to whom much has been committed of him they will do what they will ask the more open up exodus 23 
from verse number 25. Exodus 23 from verse number 25. Hallelujah. Let's read. So shall you do what? Now come on. So shall you do what? Continue. He will do what? Sasa, ebu tusome, tusome pole pole wapendwa. Mungu anasema ndipo mtakapo mtumikia Bwana Mungu wenu. Angalia faida ambazo anasema utazipokea unapomtumikia. Andika chini. Anasema I will bless your bread number 1. I will bless your water number 2. Number 3, I will take sickness away from you. Yaani kumbe Kuna afya inapatikana maususi unapomtumikia Mungu. Yaani una serve Mungu anahakikisha mwaka mzima haujaenda hospitali. Mishale ya magonjwa na maradhi inazimwa kwa kumtumikia Mungu. Jambo la ine anataja mstari wa 26 None shall suffer miscarriage. Na miscarriage hii si kuafya tu mimba ya kawaida. Kuna watu ambao wana miscarriage vision. Wengine ideas. Wengine e, ndoto zao, mipango walionayo wana incubate in the spirit powerful things lakini Adui anahakikisha wamemiskari vitu hizo. Mungu anasema ukimtumikia roho ya miscarriage inaondolewa out of your life. Hebu sema amen ya nguvu. Declare I will serve my Lord. Nyosha mkono sema I will serve my God like never before. Sema nitamtumikia Bwana wakati unafaa na wakati usiofa anataja kwamba and none will be barren in your land yani faida za kumtumikia tu anabariki machi anabariki mkate anaondoa roho ya kuafya anahakikisha ukiwa malindi hapa hautangangana unaona mazao unaona pale pia kuna neema ya harvest ndio hiyo Inchi yako itabarikiwa utazaa you become fruitful and you flourish just in serving god eh yeah? faida ya tano anasema i will fulfill the number of your days i will fulfill the number of your days mambo mawili pale jambo la kwanza fulfillment kiswahili utoselevu Ya kwamba unapoishi hapa duniani Mungu anahakikisha because of serving him unakaa maisha yaliyo na utoshelevu. Ah, anasema ata fulfill number of your days. Hapo pia kuna chembe ya maisha marefu ama longevity. So si maisha marefu yaliyo na kilio, hapana. Ni maisha marefu yaliyo na amani na utoshelevu. Ninakuombea mchana wa leo unapoendelea kumtumikia Bwana pokea kifurushi hiki chako katika jina la Yesu. Alama nyingine mstari wa 27 Mungu anaendelea kutabiri bado I will send my fear to go before you cause confusion among the people whom you come angalia ushindi pale i will make your enemies turn their backs to you maadui akikuwa kugeuzia migongo yao si ni kutoroka wanatoroka nasema si ni ushindi umepatikana pale yani kumbe kuna vita vyako vingine ushindi unaohitaji umebebwa na kumtumikia mungu you serve god here you win battles katika biashara you serve God here, you win battles in the family. Yani serving God peke yake. God gives you victory against your enemies. 
Ah, Ajamalisa 28. <laughs> He's still declaring, I will send hornets. To do what? Come on, to do what? Eh? Come on, read, read, read. I will do what? I will send hornets before you to drive out who? The Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite. You know, hawa ni majitu ambao wamekalia kilicho chako. Mungu anasema ukimtumikia, wewe hata utasumbuka atahakikisha ameshughulikia giants walio mbele waondoke you possess what belongs to you bwana pewe sifa maombi yangu ni kwamba ninapoleta mafundisho haya mchana wa leo kama ulikuwa hautumiki mungu you'll rise and serve god kama ulikuwa unatumikia mungu utamtumikia zaidi kama ulikuwa umelegea ulegevu utakuondokea hebu sema amen Andika point hizi za muhimu inapoanza. Za utangulizi tu. Number one. Mungu halipi kila utumishi. God does not reward every service. He rewards diligent service. Mungu halipi kila mtu anayetumika. Analipa wanao tumika kwa ukakamavu. I'll tell you why. The Bible says... Cast is the man. Eh? Is it Jeremiah 48.10? I think. Jeremiah 48.10. Nipe mandiko hayo kwa bibidia kiswaili. Labde metukea bzuri. Jeremiah 48.10. Na alaniwe mtu. Afanyae nini? Kazi ya buwana kwa nini? Ulegefu anafanya kazi ndio lakini kwa sababu anafanya kwa mkono wa ulegevu anasema Mungu alaaniwe huyo so kumbe si kila kazi Mungu analipa kwa hivyo lazima uamue kama unamtumikia Mungu moyo wako uko pale kikamilifu somebody said if your heart is not there don't put your hands on it if your heart is not in it, don't put your hands on it. Kama moyo wako hauko ndani ya hiyo kitu, usiweke mikono yako hapo. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Tema ameni ya nguvu? Number two andika chini kwamba, God is not desperate for kingdom workers. God is not desperate for kingdom. Yaani ni kumaanisha si kwamba Mungu alikosa watu akakutafuta. <laughs> si kwamba Mungu alikosa watenda kazi akakuchagua. Eti alikuwa amefilisika na watu hakuna. Hata leo kuna maandiko fulani kwa Biblia ukisoma inakutisha. Ati Mungu anasema hata leo akiamuka hivi apate hakuna watu anamusifu. Malindi, Amerika, e, wapi, wapi. Anasema ata inuwa mawe. Mawe yaliwa kule nji. Suddenly, they will praise him. Number three, serving God is by grace, not by right. It's a divine privilege. Kumtumiki ya mungu si haki, ni inema na nafasi ya eshima sana uliopewa. Kwanza elewa hivi kuna watu ambao wakipewa kazi unayoifanya tutakusahau. Arudia kuna watu wakipewa kazi ambayo hiyo unaifanya ukiringaringa. Waingie kwa ofisi hiyo tutakusahau leo. Kwa maana wako bora kukuliko mara mia. Mungu tu amewaruhusu wakae chini akakuchukua kwa neema umtumikie <laughs> mtume mmoja kwa biblia anaitwa apollos nyakati za paulo baba inataja sifa za huyo mtumishi wa mungu the bible says apollos was fervent in speech and a powerful orator alikuwa na ufasaha wa lugha akiingia mkutano watu wanashawishika 
he knew what to say when time what time yani alikuwa orator <laughs> akaenda kanisa fulani kuhubiri akachemuka huko bila kifuniko <laughs> bila wanasema watu <laughs> akamaliza ndugu mmoja na mke wake wakamwendea apollos wakamwambia eh hey, mtumishi tubariki tunaomba tukualike nyumbani jioni sapa ya kajua hii sapa ni sapa ya kuambiwa uligonga eh? <laughs> alipoenda sapa kule akapata wale yule jamaa na mke wake akwila na prisila ndio maandiko yanasema this man had been in eh, had been instructing the way of the lord being a fervent in the spirit he spoken totally accurately Aquila na Priscilla wakamwambia wakagundua alipokuwa na ubiri alikuwa inadequate in doctrine. <laughs> He was inadequate in doctrine. Hebu fikiria, yani jamaa amekaa pale tu na mke wake lakini wameiva sana. So si wai fikiria ukisimama hapa ukiimba wewe ndiye soloist of the century. Hapana atikuwa dikor wewe sasa ndio unasimamisha unasimamisha kazi wewe unafanya askofu waendelee ah ha. ambia mwenzako ni neema si haki ni neema si haki it's grace not a right write this down also ya kwamba leadership or kingdom service is not a walk in the park kutumikia Mungu si starehe usifikirie utamtumikia Mungu hautakwazwa utamtumikia Mungu hautasengenywa mimi nakuhakikishia kabisa utasengenywa na kama hujawahi ngojea next week watakutaja <laughs> kutumikia Mungu si starehe that is why moyo wa mtumishi unastahili kuwa moyo mkubwa sana ambao unastahimili makwazo machungu kukemewa ili uendelee kumtumikia Bwana ukimtumikia Mungu na moyo mwepesi ah utaumia sana utakuwa na roho ya thermometer leo umepanda kesho umeshuka <laughs> leo umeshuka kesho umepanda Unasaidika kweli? Unasaidika? Twende kitabu cha Luka 12 ni ubiri nusu saa kufungue. Basi ni mtu wa aina gani ambaye Mungu analipa anapotumika? That's a very critical question. Who does God reward in matters of kingdom service? What kind of kingdom service is God looking for? takupa alama kadhaa hapa alafu tu tutaomba number one, andika chini uaminifu faithfulness 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 uaminifu Luke 12 42 inasema the master is asking master pale ni bwana ndiye in charge nasema tumpate wapi aliye mwaminifu na nitakwambia for free moyo wa huyu baba hapa na moyo wa kila mchungaji ni Mungu nipe watu waaminifu kwa maana wako nadra they are scarce not even in church hata katika makampuni kule in the corporate world the heart of every boss is god give me faithful men and faithful women hawako ni wachache na ukitaka utumishi wako umguse mungu akuinua kubariki serve god in faithfulness Wacha kuchukulia kazi ya Mungu ni kama ni ndogo. Listen. 
there is no insignificant kingdom assignment hakuna kazi kwa ufalme hata moja ambaye ni ndogo ati Mungu hiyo aichukulii ni kama na uzito anayefanya ushering anayefanya anayekuwa naimba aliye mzee wa kanisa every single kingdom servant assignment matters <laughs> sema amen kuna ndugu fulani alipata nafasi akaenda kusomea America kanisa fulani kaenda kule akasoma kamaliza kaingia kazi akaendelea vizuri kazi kubwa mshahara mkubwa analipwa in dollars dada fulani kule Kenya kanisani fulani naye dada anatumikia Mungu hakupata nafasi ya kwenda kuingia high school so she was a bit illiterate lakini anapenda Mungu ameokoka akitumikia Mungu kanisani bwana kamzungumzia awe anakuja kusafisha washrooms vyo kwa gharama yake alikuwa anauza zile man made what do you call them detergents zile za maji the liquid detergents homemade sasa Mungu akamwambia chukuanga sabuni zako hizo kimbia kanisani kikisha kwamba ume umesafisha vyo pale na usiambie mchungaji na usitishe pesa wewe fanya hivyo nitumikie na uje kuosha choo za public si mchezo si mchezo swana so, akafanya hivyo month after month achoki consistently baadaye na alikuwa single mother ana mahitaji mengi tu yule ndugu alienda ngambo akarudi he wanted to get married Mungu akamwambia mke wako yuko Kenya rudi Kenya nitakuonyesha Asante kwa ameni moja huyu anaelewa mali story inaelekea huyo ameshika network <laughs> aliporudi Kenya amekaa Jumapili moja pili ya tatu akamwona yule dada pale akiosha choo God spoke to him that is the wife to cut the long story short she got married within no time she was parking a very big car outside within no time she was going to America coming back the way unaenda kilifi unarudi kumtumikia Mungu. Sijakwambia uoshe choo, sijasema hivyo. Sijio kakimbia useme bwana nikiosha choo mlete mchaina. Ah ah. Mimi sijakwambia neema ya ya ngambo iko kwa choo. Kile nakwambia ni kwamba tumikia Mungu tu nafasi yako shikilia kwa bidii. Hebu sema amen. Ambia mwenzako serve God in faithfulness. Hebu sikia ujue kwa nini watu wana miss a lot of breakthrough luka 16 mstari wa 10 luka 16 mstari wa 10 nipatie na maybe nlt ama different versions nlt nasema if you are faithful if you are faithful in little things what will happen you will be faithful in large ones ah kumbe si pepo anazuilia promotion yako saa yote wakati mwingine ni mtiani wa uaminifu tu unakuwa mwaminifu hapa unapanda juu Mungu anakuamini na mshahara mkubwa anakuamini na neema kubwa anafungua milango zaidi anapanua mipaka yako sawa sawa na kupita kwako kwa habari za uaminifu. Wewe amua kwamba utakuwa mwaminifu na uone mahali Mungu atakupeleka. Daudi hakuwa na kondo wengi. Nilisoma andiko hilo hapa. First Samuel 17:28 NKJV Samuel wa kwanza 17 mstari wa 28 Asira ya ndugu yake Elia bikamuinukia Daudi. Hebu angalia kile anamwambia. Somewhere there is asking him nipe NKJV he thou hast itatusumbua uh -huh. why did you come down here and with whom have you done what 
left how many sheep no come on how many sheep yani kumbe kondoo wa daudi hawakuwa wengi wachache tu wachache kumbe kiwachunga hivyo kwa waminifu Mungu anaona Mungu anaona alipopita mtiani wa kuchunga hao kondoo wachache mbingu ilimpatia taifa nzima la Israeli wakati Musa alichunga kondoo ma mifugo ya baba mkwe kwa waminifu Mungu alimpa pia taifa nzima kumbe kuna vitu vikubwa mbele yako vimefichwa na waminifu wako katika kutumikia Bwana Namba tu andika kwa haraka kumtumikia Mungu kunahitaji hekima kazi hii itaki ujinga There is no room for foolishness in kingdom service <laughs> You need wisdom Hebu sema hekima Come on shout wisdom Kwa sababu utahitaji hekima ya Mungu ili ufanye kazi hii kwa njia inayofaa Hekima ya Mungu Si ya dunia ya Mungu na hekima ya Mungu ifanya kazi maishani mwako inakuja na mambo kadhaa Jambo la kwanza wisdom opens up your spiritual eyes I can put in English in a better way wisdom comes with insight and foresight Mubiri mbili 14 part A Ecclesiastes chapter number 2 and verse 14a inasema macho ya mtu mwenye hekima yamokichwani mwake when you see a servant that is serving in wisdom they are using more than physical eyes mtu mwenye hekima ana macho ndani ya kiroho kwa kwa sababu wanaomtumikia Mungu na hekima makanisani hawaoni tu hapa tulipo wanaona mbali wanajua moyo wa baba tunaelekea mahali wanaona miaka chache inayokuja kathidro itajengwa hapa wewe sema amen wanaona kutakuwa na ma what do you call them balconies kwa hiyo cathedral macho yao wakiingia kanisani hawaoni makosa makosa wanaona nafasi ya kurekebisha vitu a kingdom servant does not focus on weaknesses and shortcomings and flaws they focus on solutions and building up ha huh? Je kuna watu wako wa Komoroko wako hapa macho yao ni kuona vitu mbaya wakati wote It is true They just have wicked eyes Hata ukijipanga kwa njia gani bado watasema hapana hapa tungeweka blue tungeweka indigo yani They never see anything good Eh hey. Tasema mtume alikuwa amevaa nguo ya blue nzuri leo lakini kama angekuwa na kiatu ya yellow angemaliza. <laughs> yaani kuna watu ambao wao wakiangalia vitu wanaona negativity. Hiyo si hekima ya Mungu. Sema amen wewe. Hekima ya Mungu ikifanya kazi inafungua macho yako unaona vitu in a positive way. Na mahali kuna nafasi Unasiba, unapeana suluhisho pale. Hekima hey. pia ikifanya kazi inazaa ukomavu. Utoto unamalizika. Sema amen wewe kama unanisikia. You know as you serve God, you must put away every childishness. Hii kazi nataka mtu aliyekoma sana. Ukomavu jinsi unaongea jinsi unatatua kesi za watu jinsi unapokea kurudiwa na kurekebishwa 
it requires a very mature heart very mature heart very mature heart so as you serve god desire to serve in wisdom na utaona ukomavu unaonekana ukitumikia mungu yeah hata watu ambao wanakupiga vita hautawasumbua hautasumbuana na wao wakati mmoja pastor wanje nilikuwa nikihubiri kule lanchawa kwetu kuhusu tai many years ago i think it's a very powerful teaching about the ego like christian na nikataja nyingi sana baadaye nikaita mtumishi rafiki yangu alikuwa ameketi pale aje amalizie aliongezea point moja ikanijenga akasema <laughs> akasema kile kinafanya wewe kama tai unapigwa pigwa mawe ovyo ovyo ni kwa maana unaruka chini sana pandisha height yako ya flight wache kufikiwa hapa na mawe ndoko ndoko ndio mwanzo panda juu zaidi wacha kuruka chini eh, eh, hapa chini hapo utasumbuliwa na masengenyo na kutukanwa lakini ukiruka kule juu sana kule ah wanaongea hapo kiwa wapi kiwa kule juu yeah number three as you serve god serve god as a steward steward ni nani ni mtu ambaye anasimamia kazi ya mtu kwa waminifu ni kama ni yake wa korintho wa kwanza 4 first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 2 thank you jesus read that verse for me want to go moreover it is required what is required in steward that one be found faithful one be found faithful mambo haya anayatoa katika luka hapo tu 12 mstari wa 42 hapo tu who is that faithful wise now tuko pale kwa steward nime deal na faithfulness wisdom we are in stewardship ya kwamba unashika kazi ni kama ni yako hebu nikupe ushuhudi utakuchekesha why i was working nilifanya kazi kwa miaka mingi pale i've been to places yes but the last the last place i was working i worked for almost 13 years commuting every day from nairobi to machakos every single day natoka machakos saa kumi asubuhi narudi saa nne usiku every day 13 years monday to saturday and sunday i'm preaching so wakati moja our company tulikuwa na what you call trade fair trade fair ni unapata kuna mall kuna mall pale nilione imekuwa mpya unapata kuna mall pale Sarit Center Westlands ambao wanaweka meza za kampuni tofauti then you exhibit your products and your services to people you know so we were looking forward sana sana wakati kama huo uchaguliwe wewe uwe duty kwenye exhibition kwa sababu masaa yako ni very conducive yani au ingi kazi mapema unaingia saa 4 unatoka saa tisa <laughs> so mimi nikafikiwa nikapewa siku mbili kafurahi sana the first thing nilipoenda Mungu akaniambia enda mapema go earlier than the rest baada kuingia saa ine, nikaingia saa mbili baada kutoka saa tisa, saa kumi, natoka saa kumi na mbili. kumbe boss wangu amekuwa kimonitor kila mtu ambaye ako duty kwa siku yake siku ya pili yangu ya mwisho alikuja nikifunga saa 12 na nusu jioni mimi nimechelewa nataka kukimbia mbio niende machako kwa maana uwezi na gari yako every day ni mafuta so nilikuwa naharakisha ngachukue matatu au shuttles i go to machako yeye hey, akaingia saa hiyo kanambia ah rev uko hapa bado kaambia niko kanambia ah, very good very good hey na umekuwa kifunga late unakuja mapema hebu funga nikakunulie kahawa ah, mimi nasikia ni mwambia pana hii kahawa yako inakuja saa mbaya because i want to go home lakini za boss i respect kwaambia it's okay mimi kamwambia lakini nimechelewa nafaa kwenda niko westland machako sakaniambia utaenda utaenda hata wakamba mnasema nova 
ni hapa karibu so usijali utaenda tu tukaenda kwa hoteli hapo anakunya kawa hana haraka mimi niko na wasiwasi i say i'm almost telling him please allow me to go we took 45 minutes karibu saa mbili usiku akaniambia nilikwambia machako sitaenda tu nasikia kumwambia wewe umenikosea <laughs> tukaenda kwa parking kwenda kwa parking huyo mwanaume alichukua funguo yake ya Range Rover anaambia chukua igari enda nayo rudisha kesho ah 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 nikamwambia umesema nini akaniambia nimekuambia chukua hii funguo ya Range Rover enda nayo rudisha kesho hata nikifungua nilifungua nikimwangalia hivi nikifikia anacheza nikaingia nikakaa ala kaniambia enda 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 toka enda enda aki nilitoka kwa hiyo mall nikapigia mke wangu nikamwambia ni kama boss wangu amenifanyia ujanja hapa imagine niko na range rover yake na nakuja machakos nayo akaniambia zima simu asipige yani 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 ujinga tu ujinga tu nika hey, nikasema ujamaa atapiga simu nirudi nikasima hiyo simu nikasema siiwashi mpaka nifike kule mbele Daystar huko Lukenya ndio nitawasha na nikazima nikaenda mbio sana nikafika Daystar nikawasha simu hiyo nikapata miss zake tatu eh kaniambia umesema simu kwa nini nikamwambia eh nilikuwa nastaki upige nirudi akaniambia hapana nilikuwa nakupigia nikwambie usikuje mapema kuja saa 8 kesho eh 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 e. Nikajua niko na 24 hours za kuangaisha za kuangaisha Nikaambia mke wangu kama hujanunua nyanya ningoje Kama hujanunua sapa ningoje nikupeleke sokoni Nilifika machako nikateremusha vio zote Unasalimia watu hata wale wakujui Halo 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 mjambo mjambo wengine hai pasta ni wewe nawaambia ni mimi napiga honi pipi peri honi honi na yendesa hiyo gari 10 kilometers per hour pole pole kama gari ya harusi <laughs> kama gari ya harusi hebu sema amen lakini 24 hours ikaisha karudisha gari lakini listen nilifanya hivyo kumbe Mungu anaangalia vile i am a steward kasa kuamini Mungu Mungu nisaidie nipate gari sasa pale kazini kwangu anything i do i'm very diligent in it those who are around me they know i put my heart in whatever i do sasa nilikuja nikatumikia one of the clients. Mteja mmoja alikuja kwanza Muislamu amvamba kabuibui kabisa, amebakisha macho wale ninja. <laughs> Akaja binti hapo nikamsava haraka kulikuwa na some issue alikuwa nayo. Kitu imemsumbua miezi sita nikaitatua na nusu saa. Akafurahi sana. Akaniambia, "Thank you so much. Can I have your number?" Nikampa business card akaenda zake kumbe ni binti wa waziri mm. that time baada ya siku chache waziri akanipigia pia akapiga we ni fulani yes ongea na waziri hapa akaniona kaniambia e, binti yangu alikuja hapo kumsaidia na amekuwa akikutaja kila siku anashukuru we unaweza patikana tukunywe kahawa na kuliza utakataa kawa ya waziri jamii jamii utakataa kawa ya waziri ama utaomba bwana bwana ni mapenzi yako what do you mean kuna milango ikifunguka ingia ndani kwanza sherekea ukiwa ndani shukuru ukiwa ndani wacho pumbavu wa kiroho nikamwambia waziri wacha kahawa hata chakula na kulanga wachana na kahawa I also eat lunch. Kanambia uh-huh. haya tukutane Ijumaa. Maofisi ile yale ya bunge Nairobi. Tukutane pale. Mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi that time branch iko Nairobi West, hapo Nyayo Stadium. Saa 
saba nikatoka ofisini nikaingia matatu za zile langata namba 15 Nissan ili nipeleke town kulikuwa na jam sa hiyo so i took some time kufika pale katikati waziri akapiga tena where are you kaambia niko karibu kufika niko karibu neno karibu neno akapiga simu ya pili kaambia niko hapa karibu na neno sasa kaniambia ah si ungefuata njia nyingine hapa hill ungeenda hivi uingie hivi u drive hivi ukuja na njia nyingine kaambia mtu hapo kwa ku drive na kwenda hivi na hivi ndio kuna shida niko kwa matatu kaniambia ah huna gari kaambia sina hebu nikwambie nilikula lunch siku hiyo nikapewa gari gari kaniambia kuna gari iko hapa tuitumi tumi na nimekupenda let a logbook transfer chukua fungo ndio hiyo enda nayo ah ah yani nilianza asubuhi bila gari saa na nusu ilikuwa naendesha gari na sikupigia mke wangu nikamwambia na msurprise eh nikafanya ile kitu tena nikamwambia ni ngoje nikupeleke sokoni jioni Nika... <laughs> nikafika machako saa saa moja na nusu giza imeingia ingia kapigia mama tulikuwa tunakaa kwa gorofa wakati huo nikamwambia nimefika shuka mama akashuka kaniangalia hivi anioni akapiga simu uona nipigie umefika na uja fika unao mama anaongea haraka umepiga hujafika niko hapa nikamwambia nimefika uko wapi nikampigia mataya gari shwa 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 kaambia mali uniliacha siko pale si bwana kalipe watu wanaomtumikia kwa uaminifu fanya kazi ya Mungu ni kama ni yako Mungu atakulipa andika hii chini stewardship triggers ownership takusaidia hiyo stewardship triggers ownership yeah it triggers ownership the bible says Luke 16:12 Luke 16:12 almost coming to an end read this verse for me if you have not been faithful in what is another man's who will give you what is your own now read the bible with a reverse let's read it in another way if you have been faithful in what is another man's god will give you what is your own own hapo ni ownership Tree, stewardship triggers what ownership serve god like it is you acha kusema ah scope for you ko ndalegea tumika ni kama ni wewe utashangaa vile utamiliki vitu katika safari ya kutumikia bwana number four. how do you serve god you serve him in consistency Hebu sema consistency Luke 12:43 takumalizia hapo in the next 10 minutes I'll be done Luke 12:10 ah Luke 12 is it 43 there we go Soma maandiko haya pamoja nami want to go blessed is that servant who what whom the master will find so doing when he comes hebu nisome Kiswahili hapo tupe Kiswahili heri mtumwa yule ambaye bwana wake ajapo atamkuta anafanya hivyo huu ni mtumwa aliyepewa kazi fulani si ndio akaambua fanya hii na bwana akaenda zake maandiko yanasema huyo mtumwa yule amebarikiwa ikiwa Bwana akija wakati wowote atampata kwenye kazi aliyopewa that is consistency na hapo ndio shida ya watu wengi ilipo sasa sikia kwa makini Mungu ameficha mwisho wa mwezi wake nasema Mungu ameficha 
siku ya malipo hata wai kuambia Watu waisikia Mungu amekuja Jumapili oh, oh Bartholomeo Bartholomeo mimi ni bwana Mungu wako mwambie naam bwana usikose ibada Jumapili ninakuja kukulipa hiyo sauti tutawaisikia Mungu anakuja unannounced unannounced hapo ndipo Mungu anakubaliana muhenga mmoja muhenga aliyesema asiyekuepo <laughs> na lake alipo hapo anatembea na Mungu hivi hivi kwa hiyo maandiko asiyekuepo <laughs> so kuna watu ambao wametumikia Mungu miaka nyingi lakini siku yao ya malipo Mungu alipokuja hawapo mteja aliyetumika apatikani na unapitwa na thawabu ya Mungu sikia the rewards of God are never released in absentia ati Mungu akuletee maji ya kulipe apate hauko aseme muwekeeni akikuja atapewa hakuna hiyo siku amekuja nayo kama haupo umepitwa mtu wangu you never know again when heaven will decide to visit yo kiamka asubuhi unasikia kapepo kabaya kanakuambia leo usiende kanisani kakemee ati leo usiimbe kwaya kemee hiyo roho inza kuwa ni silaha ya adui ya kukuondoa mali pa malipo siku hiyo na upitwe na malipo hayo yeah. Askofu mmoja pasta wanje in Nairobi he has a big church big church ambayo iko within the country and beyond I'll not say his name ako na conference kama hii yetu hapa ako na yake afikiri mwezi wa nane. akiwa na mke wake waliamua mwaka huu wa kongamano wataka kulipa kupeana zawadi kwa mchungaji na mke wake watachagua mchungaji mmoja na mke wake wapeane zawadi wakauliza what do you buy as a gift they bought a car gari mpya gari mpya kabisa ikanunuliwa ikaletwa ikawekwa pale kwa ofisi ya askofu na ikafunikwa na na chandarua wakasema yule mchungaji na mke wake watakayepokea gari hiyo ni wale watakuja wa kwanza kwenye kongamano those will come the first ones wacha nikwambie watu wakachelewa ya yeah, mmoja anasema siku ya kwanza kuna kunanga watu <laughs> unakuja siku ya pili mwingine siku ya kwanza ni registration unachelewa mchungaji aliyewahi mapema ni mchungaji kutoka Garissa hata ana gari isafi na basi usiku mzima akafika Nairobi saa tisa asubuhi hawakwenda kwa hoteli wakaja kanisani watchman akaandika wamefika saa tisa na kitu wakaingia wakakaa kwa viti kule wakaomba omba wangoje conference ianze saa mbili. kifika saa mbili mkutano umejaa watu kila mahali watu elfu kumi wamejaa pale askofu akaingia na mke wake watu wakashangilia wakasimama pale wakasema tuna tunataka kupeana zawadi kabla tuendelee tumeamua kuzawadia mchungaji mmoja hapa na mke wake na funguo ya gari i wish ungeona vile wachungaji wali claim hiyo gari mtu anashika mke wake hivi to claim hiyo father we claim father we claim we are possessed by fire <laughs> akawaambia wateni maombi ya fire ha, ha, ha. tunajua tayari tunapatia nani eh hey. wakataja mtiani wakasema tulipanga atakaye kuja wa kwanza conference hii tunampa gari mchungaji wa gari sasa mama pa na mke wake wakapata gari walikuja na basi they went back with the car this building what will make short circuit unajua short circuit kizungu what makes short circuit to take place is when current is not consistent wakati umeme utembei consistently ni rahisi mawaya ya stima kuchomeka 
mwaka huu amua wacha kutumika leo umekaa leo umesimama ah ah wewe patikana kazini usengenywe tumika ukivunjika moyo tumika ukikemewa tumika ambia mwenzako Mungu ameficha mwisho wa mwezi wake eh mwambie siku yako ya malipo imefichwa mwambie patikana soma pale heri nani soma kwa sauti heri mtumwa yule ambaye bwana wake ajapo na kuombea bwana ajapo akukute katika kasi ili usipitwe tanimalizia hapa twende kitabu cha luka hapo 12 alama ni mingi lakini nitataja ya mwisho because of time. Luke chapter 12. Tusome pale chini kabisa. Mali panataja na yule servant who did not know the master's will. Hapo tu. Yeah, hapo tu. Uh-huh. Nimevuka point kama tatu sababu ya wakati. 47 47 And that servant who did what who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself to do according to his will the bible says shall be beaten with many stripes Mtumishi kanisani anastahili kujua moyo wa bwana wake Natamalizia hapo Hebu niwaambie wapendwa hivi sikia nikwambie sikiza kwa makini sana makanisa hayafanani ha? wala wachungaji hatufanani sasa ukiingia kwenye kanisa ambalo hujawahi kuwepo na umeingia pale kama kwa mfano hapa elewa kwamba every local church has a special dna every local church has a special dna Nema ya kanisa hili si TV na fan ni mtumishi wa Mungu na mama au ndio wamebeba neema ya maono haya si viti si viti wakatoka malindi hapa utasema ah kama dad baba yuko mimi nafanya nini hapa kwa maana kilichokuleta hapa ni upakwa na ubeba sema meni ya nguvu So kwa hivyo mtumishi ambaye anafanikiwa katika utumishi lazima karibie mbeba maono aelewe moyo wake moyo wake unatakaje eh nini ambacho hapendi nini ambacho anapenda mwaka huu anataka kanisa lielekee wapi amebarikiwa mtumishi ambaye anajua mapenzi ya Bwana wake Bwana pewe sifa Takupa mfano wangu. Mimi baba yangu wa kiroho baba yangu askofu mbele nimekaa naye sana. Miaka miaka nyingi kidogo. Moyo wake sana ni wa uinjilisti. My papa is he sold out for soul winning. He can do anything to do a crusade. Anything. Yaani weka crusade pale ya amefika. Akona na mambo mengine nyingi sana ya uponyaji lakini crusade ni hivyo. Sasa akiwa hivyo anaweza panga mikutano ya ajabu sana. Aseme leo nasikia next week nipeleke crusade loi tok tok. Na uko ndani. Hakuna kupingana. Atio gharama ya crusade wewe ingeongeza taa ingine pale. Ah. Tunafuata kila nataka. Bwana poe sifa. Hebu nikwambie kitu. Kila baba katika nyumba ako na urithi na ako na dini la dhahabu. I'm trying to use Kiswahili kidogo. Let me put it this way. Every father has a mine. Your mine? Mine. Huh? Alex. Eh? Mgodi. Kila baba kona mgodi. Inagarimu mwana liye koma. Apate njia pole pole hivi afikie mgodi pale achote dhahabu. Uwezi fanya hivyo bila kuelewa moyo wa mtumishi wa Mungu. Ndio unaangalia watu ambao wanaelewa mdundo wa moyo wa mtu wa Mungu. The heartbeat of God's servant. 
they get impartation faster faster than anybody else because they do what the man of God wants say amen mbia mwanza kutambua maono ya nyumba hii mwambie tambua maono ya nyumba hii si mama kwa miguu yako niombe nimekatisha kwa sababu ya wakati sababu ni 1:30 i'm very careful with time especially sa za mchana Uliza mwenzako uko tayari kumtumikia Mungu? Muulize hivyo. Uko tayari kumtumikia Mungu? Nyosha mikono yako juu. Fungua kinywa chako ambia Bwana nisaidie. To serve you more. Open up your mouth. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Mungu wetu tunakusifu Mungu wetu twakuinua yale uyatendayo makumno fadhili zako fadhili zako za milele haufananishwi na chochote ni we uliye mwanzo Nyosha mikono imba Mungu Mungu wetu Yale yale uyatendayo makumno imba kwa sauti fadhili zamilele na chochote so oh una staini una staini yesu kwabu diwa winuliwa yesu kwino imakusujudiwa yesu yesu kusujudiwa mikono yako funga macho ningependa nifanye ombi na kikundi cha watu kadhaa dakika moja tu labda ujumbe huu umekuja kwa kwa wakati unafaa unahisi kwamba unastahili kumtumikia Mungu zaidi zaidi labda wengine ulikwazwa ulikuwa unafanya kazi fulani ukaacha Bwana anakuita rudia kazi aliyokupa 
ikiwa una feel kwamba kuna kitu katika ujumbe huu kimelenga maisha yako tembea kuja mbele hapa tuombe ni vemba nifanya maombo ukiwa katika madhabahu kuja tu kuja hapa tembea kuja mbele Mungu analipa watumishi hivyo kuja mbele tu you feel you want to serve God more hata kama Mungu akitumika unasikia hujatumika jinsi ipasavyo we tembea kuja mbele huwa anashangaa ombi ni lako we unaangalia watu sio una ni unahitaji Mungu wasao forget about your neighbor we kuja hapa fanya moyo wako wazi atakayelipwa ni wewe si jirani yeah atakayelipwa ni wewe si jirani so njo Mmm unastahili Unastahili Yesu kuwa bundiwa Unastahili Yesu kuinuliwa Kusujudiwa unastahili Yesu kusujudiwa Ah ah Unastahili Hebu nikwambie kitu I wish ungejua baraka ambazo Bwana amekupangia kwa kumtumikia Kuna watu ambao I feel in my spirit you used to serve God in an area and you left You stopped doing it iwe ni uimbaji iwe ni ushering you used to serve god today you don't serve him you stopped for reason best known to you i don't care the reasons if that is one of you tembea kuja mbele you never know why god sent me tembea kuja mbele hapa naomba nikikuombea go see your man of god get back to your office in the name of jesus nyosha mikono yako lie kuja mbele thank you lord kuja kuja naona wengine wanakuja just come just come just come ama umekuwa fanye kitu kanisani umekaa tu mwaka huu siuamue siuamue you step out even if you don't know what to do come and see the authority they will tell you what to do the name of jesus tulio kule nyuma bunyosha mikono yako pray as we pray for them can you pray naomba ulie kuja mbele funga macho yako fungua kinywa chako mwambie mungu jambo come on open up your mouth speak to god concerning your area of service kama kuna mali ulilegea ambia bwana kusamee ya kwamba hautalegea tena kama ulikuwa unatumikia mungu na ukasimamisha mwambie bwana restore me to your service eh kama ulikuwa umeumia ndani ulikwazwa mungu anaponya vidonda vya ndani pia mwambie kaponye your inner man ili utumike bwana katika afya ya mtu wa ndani Yeah come on lift up your voice I give you one minute to just pray 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 in the name of Jesus 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 nataka uombe omba 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 tuna Mungu amejaa rehema na neema anasikia 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 kilio chako na anaenda kujibu haja ya moyo wako come on just lift up your voice and make the prayer Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Hebu nikuombe nyosha mikono yako lie kuja mbele. Haleluya. Sikii kwa nini ibada zikiendelea kuna watu kule nje wanatembea tu, wanatembea tu. Uh, inakwaza sana. Sana. Kama kuna kiongozi tough, please take note of that. Kama ibada ya mchana, people should be inside. Can you imagine God is talking to us and someone is just loitering? It's bad. Hebu tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu, tunaombea watu wako mchana wa leo wamepokea neno lako hawajafanya mioyo yao migumu. Wamenena na wao kwa lugha rahisi. Kwa bomo umetuitia kukutumikia. Ninaomba waliovunjika mioyo yao kwa njia moja ama nyingine wakajeruhiwa wakakwazika. I speak healing upon their inner man. Ninaomba hiyo roho nzito ikatoke in the name of Jesus. Ninaomba fanya upya nguvu zao kukutumikia katika jina la Yesu. Ninaomba waliopiga hatua kukutumikia like never before. Lord may they be rewarded. 
wale ambao walikuwa wameacha kazi hii na wakarudia Mungu naomba a greater comeback katika ofisi hizo na ninaomba jinsi wamepiga hatua kuja mbele wacha mwaka huu ukawe mwaka wao wa kuvuna kwa sababu ya utumishi i speak blessing in jesus name sema amen pigia bwana makofi na shangwe haleluya rudi tumtolee bwana sadaka zetu itakuwa vizuri thank you jesus thank you jesus ingia mfukoni mwako tutoe sadaka unashangaa why are we giving throughout because god doesn't get tired blessing us also kama una sadaka kwa mpesa uh, basi angalia screen utaona namba ya mpesa pale i still announce tuna ibada maalum baadaye mchana kwa ajili ya family altars ma family altar uh, ivo bahasha mliopewa na mtume mrimi eh, make sure you package your offering i'm assuming also you have invited your household your family members to join us wala mlichukua bahasha kwangu ma kwa askofu ama kwa mubiri mwingine isipokuwa apostle mrimi naomba kuja hapa mbele na bahasha yako today is the last day of the conference we want to crown jifunze kulipa nadhiria kwenye bracket ya masaa uliopewa uh, that is honor god bless you god bless you god bless you tembea kuja mbele uh, i'll pray for you god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you bingu zikijawa sifa Aleluya ya iwe ya kwanza O oh, baba baba tusimame kumbu ni kumbuke uni kumbuke bingu bingu zikijawa sifa Aleluya yangu iwe ya kwanza Baba 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 ba, 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 maomi oni kubuke bingu bingu siki jawa sifa haleluya yangu iwe ya kwanza shika basha na mikono miwili lift up your offering as i pray kama ni simu inua tuombe kwa ajili ya Mpesa. Baba ni asante mchana wa leo tunapotamatisha kongamano ibada ya saa saba. We thank you for a gracious week. Watu wako wametii wakaja na dhabihu zao sawa sawa na matangazo tuliyofanya tukiongozwa na roho wako. Ninaomba ukatimize sehemu ya agano. Ukajibu maombi yao may the desires of their hearts be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus tunakemea mwaribifu tutatangaza majira haya mavuno yatakuwa a reality we also bless every offering this we pray in Jesus name amen amen let baba ni maombi yangu imba uni tembea kuja mbele bingu bingu sadaka zetu alelu kikapo iko hapa o baba ni o ni kubuke bingu programa nani Aleluya yangu O baba baba
Amen. Ah, tangazo moja tu, alafu tunaweza kufumukana. La kwanza, hii ni kongamano la wanafunzi. Na tabia moja ya wanafunzi ni kuweka nidhamu. Nidhamu ni mumu sana, si vizuri kuloita kule inje wakati ibada inaendelea. Kwa hivyo tafadhali tuwe hapa wakati wa ibada. Umesikia mubile kisema inaumiza kuona watu kule inje nulikuja ibada. Ya pili, uh, wakati na...